Okay, so uh, any mathematical expression that you want to write in Python uh, can be written, like there are different ways. Addition, subtraction, are the standard plus minus. Division uses the slash operator. If you want to multiply two numbers, you use asterisk, okay? So let's say you want to write an expression like this. So in normal math on paper, you write it like this, a plus b divided by two. If you want to write in Python or in any programming language, you write it in this manner. So you write a plus b inside parentheses divided by two. So parentheses again is are the standard PEMDAS rules. Well, that's how you will write it in single line if you want to write this expression. If you just write a plus b slash two, that will make b over two, like a plus b over two, right? Not a plus b whole over two. So if you want the whole, again, you put it inside parentheses. And like I said, it follows the PEMDAS rules that uh, of uh, operator precedence, okay? Then you can mix the number types as well, like you, an integer can be uh, added, subtracted from a float and so on, and it results in a floating point value. So these things, again, these come with, uh, on a need to know basis and like whenever you want to use, uh, you will see like how the results are different or they are evaluated. Then finally, like if you want to write uh, powers or exponents, you can write that. So double stars will define the exponent. So if you want to, let's say, write this uh, expression in Python, you write something like this. So if you see n to the power is for one plus r over 100, so r over 100 is this, one plus, so all this inside parentheses and raised to the power n means star star n and then all this is being multiplied by b that's what the outer parentheses mean and this basically shows you which thing is evaluated first and so on okay so for the math part that we have learned so far this is one of the labs you should definitely do this. Like there is no submission, I won't check them, uh, the lab, but uh, you should do this, okay? Uh, create two variables, define them as A and B, assign four to A, eight to B, so you say A equals four, B equals eight, so that's what this means. Then you multiply those two numbers, put the result in a new variable called C, then you divide C by two, put in a variable called d, and then take the square root of d. So for the square root of d, you can just d to the power of 0.5, okay? So square root or under root is d to the power of 0 0.5, and then print d. So please do this lab. Uh, again, it will only help your learning. Then floor division. So if you want, if you remember your floors and ceilings from math, elementary math. So if you just divide slash, it gives you um, the whole number, like the exact uh, decimals. But if you want only floor division, uh, like you only get uh, uh, like the one, omitting the 0.75, you can use the slash slash or double slash operator, okay? And this will discard the fractional part. So seven slash slash four will yield one, okay? So just as an information, I don't think in any of the labs we'll be using it. This we will definitely use. Modulus operator is something which is used to get the remainder, okay? So if you divide seven by four, you get remainder three, right? So if you are interested in getting the remainder, but not the answer, so seven divided by four is what? 1.75, right? So one is the answer, 0.75 is the fractional part. But 
if you want the remainder so when you divide 7 by 4 you get 1 4 times 1 is 4 remainder is 3 if you want to get the remainder you use this operator so remainder will be equal to 3 why do we get this or why do we need this is uh, to do something like this like as shown in this lab and like if you want to see whether some number is even or odd you divide by 2 if the mod uh, remainder is 0 it's an even number if the remainder is uh, not 0 the number is odd okay so in those types of problems modulus operators come in handy okay so also in this lab so now that I have told you what double slash means what modulus means I want you to run this lab and see what is the result and figure out what's happening by now you should be able to figure out what's happening if not go back watch the lectures read the slides and so on and this basically caps off whatever I just said uh, like how these mod slash double slash operators work make sure you understand this slide also